Joe Rogan's probably health for them, like 90% of the people. You eat chopped up body parts of animals. You eat hen's ovulations. I eat liver as well. You eat superfood. organs cut out of a sentient being. It's not a superfood. Everyone knows about where animals come from. So you happily pay for gas chambers then? This is just footage of what you pay for. That's why I'm into grass-fed stuff because I think it's better. But you don't eat grass-fed chickens, bro. I eat grass-fed chickens. I've never seen them grazing and eating grass as their primary food source. So you're killing the farm industry because farmers rely on stuff. I don't care. Yeah. They ended human slavery in America, which was a, the moral thing to do, and it hurt the industry. Would you rather be in a slaughterhouse or have your have lost your job? Prefer to do this question. You prefer to be in there? We live in a site where you can't you can't afford to lose your job nowadays. What's up, brother? You good? Do you know what this is? No, what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not is the pipeline of vocal validation. We had, 75 years ago, we were still eating meat. We weren't vegan. Not vegan. No, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but most people aren't vegan now, actually. And people sitting there putting images of like this is not going to cause any. It's not going to change anything? No, it won't. Why we not? Kill a 4 billion people, that's the only reason. Eight years ago, vegans never existed. The only reason why we, we have this is because of our population. People so it's because there's so many people, we have to meet the demand, and that's why this is happening. So, how do we. Like change that. Don't. Can't change we can't it. change it. Just leave it. We designed them to be able to do yeah, exactly. To they're, they're, they're selectively bred animals. We're, we're, so we're growing meat off of conscious beings. A food off of someone that doesn't want to be tortured and killed. Cutting out meat is not going to follow. Actually, personally, eating meat is actually more healthy than being vegan. Personally, the amount of vegans I know, people going, "Oh, vegan's healthy." Vegan B12 deficiency. There's probably about B12 deficiency. B12 is one of them. You think I'm B12 deficient? Uh, Where can you get B12? If you have, do you think we have to eat? Sorry, animals store most of the vitamins in their meat. That's yeah, but how... do you think that? Yeah, but you've got B12 in yours. Yeah, and I wouldn't kill you to eat you to get the B12. That's but illogical. Your argument, your argument is it's all about. But if you if you went back in 1920s, there were no vegan people weren't thinking about. I don't care about, about it. I don't care yeah, about that. If, we, if you go back far enough, slavery was normal. I don't care about what happened back then. then testosterone is higher back then than it is now. Actually, the average person is probably about 950, and at the moment it's about 450. Well, so it went yeah, down there's a lot of hormones in meat and dairy, estrogen yeah, and dairy. Like, if drinking milk from a pregnant cow, like there's so there's problems there's no with difference between. I'd rather drink milk than soy milk because soy milk is manufactured also heavily just so it would address your metals, whereas cow's milk isn't infection. It's, it's a, a pregnant cow with hormones, fly, actual mammalian. Hor we're, you're a mammal. You're drinking from a cow that's just had a baby. You think there's more hormones in a cow than in yeah, a bee? A, a lot of people eat meat and stuff. Inuits, I know, bro. Example, Inuits, for example, eat meat. If you but, take them away for a diet, they die off. And when they have Western diet, they actually die off. When you give them vegan, they actually die off, believe it or not. They, they actually just, die well, off? Yeah, because they're not, they won't. Most planes. people will die, like, so civilizations won't survive. Obviously, if civilization, we've, we've adopted the agriculture we have. Of course, well, plant agriculture. Like, Without that, we wouldn't have, yeah, exactly we didn't have civilization. Part. But then we still eat meat though. So now we've got animal agriculture, right? Yes. So we mass breed a bunch of animals and what, where do the plants go? Feeding the animals. Feeding the animals. Yeah, so don't you think that's unsustainable? No. Feeding I think, plants though? I think, I think that it, okay. produces, it takes more water to produce almond milk than it does for anything else. And that's the problem. People go, oh, it's more healthier. But when is, I, I could tell you, in a, a litre of almond milk, it's probably about five almonds, and the rest of it is water. You may just so how is there water. more water in almond milk? There is more water in almond milk, Because to, to grow almonds? There is. It takes, it takes, to grow an almond, it takes more water than it does for agriculture. And that's how it's, it's one of the it's most water, it's one of the most water intensive plant crops. It's also, I, but it still takes less I'm water than- saying, I'm not saying vegan diets ain't healthy, they are. You should eat in your vegetables. Yeah, but, but cutting out meat isn't the way. But I, all I'm asking you is, do you think this is wrong? I think it's wrong, yeah. Because now we're getting into the woods of like almonds it and water. Is, it is like, wrong, we're off topic. I can't, I can't do anything about it, unfortunately. Yeah, but so like right now, right? You know, there's animals being like harmed and there's people being harmed. You can't do anything about it, right? But I'm just asking you, like, you don't go, you don't seem like the guy that goes around harming people and like animals. So you control what you do, right? Control what I eat, but. So, so is this against your morals? It is against my morals, but there's nothing there I can do about it unless we kill 5 billion people you and can, say, no, and, and list mouths to feed, and that'll be, that's that whole point is. If, Everyone had your attitude, nothing would ever change. I'm not saying that this is it's the right thing, it isn't. I, I you know, my, my, my grandfather's still alive, he's like, you know, almost 100 years to me. In my day, we never did animals like this. It's all far more than ever. Because of the, I mean, 1950, population over three here. It's three Factory times farming's that. only, for, I think it's about 1950. It, 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 it's, it's increased because we had that demand to increase what we have. Exactly if right. If we don't focus on overpopulation, this is going to carry an habit. And, if Whether it's accurate or not, people sitting there turning to, you know, alternatives isn't going to, it's not fixing the issue. The issue it's, comes from one well, thing well, overpopulation. We, we're growing enough plants to feed the 80 billion land animals that are killed every single year. And we've only 8 billion humans outnumber us 10 times just yeah, the land exactly animals. Part, you know so then how we, inefficient is that, bro? How many, it's very inefficient. But then I always say sustainable meat is always better than... 
Greenford. What is sustainable meat? What are the, grass everyone's going to... Grass you, same bish here. Everyone's going to eat grass-fed grass fed animals? Yeah. Oh, so there's yeah, enough yeah. grass now and there land. Is grass. There is enough land, but we stop building and stop reducing, yes. there will be enough land. That's the they have to deforest to, to graze cattle. The problem is the same happened for any They years have to deforest to, to grow plants to feed the cattle and to graze the cattle. Deforesting a long time ago for wood, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, but there's no, like, in a way, deforesting for, to feed animals yeah. is the main driver. So you're saying going plant based is the way forward. That's what you're saying. Well, I just want to know if you, th if you think this is wrong, it only makes yeah, sense that you stop that. paying for it to happen. If I'm cutting out something from my diet just to help this, we're not solving an issue. We're just saying don't eat this. You're saying you're, you're, you're scared you're going to be sick or something? No. I am scared I'm going to be sick, yeah. Being like someone notoriously in the, uh, deficient in... Notorious? Yeah, no, but notorious. I don't You're believe... saying that because, oh, it's, it's cleaner. I've met guys who have been vegan for five years, even more than that. And the guy in my gym has been vegan for 10 years and he's come off because he goes, I've got brutal bones, I've had problems with memory, I have problems with uh, B12 fifties, problems with omega-3. I can literally... Do you know what an skin. anecdote is, though? Not anecdote. Do you know what a, what's an anecdote? No, it's something. It's a cool story someone said. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? Been... The, the difference between an anecdote and data. I can tell you, I, I, I've been eating meat most of my life. And I'll tell you what, my. my... How old are you? 30. 30. Yeah. Okay. I've been eating meat for 10 years. I've also been drinking milk for 10 years. Believe it or not, my blood pressure is down there. My yeah. cholesterol is down there. You seem like a fit, healthy person. Yeah, I'm not saying that you can't be generally no, healthy. I'm, I'm not saying that. But I'm, I'm saying if you think this is wrong <laughs> and you can be healthy as a vegan, why aren't you a vegan? Because it's supporting a vegan. I mean, you, the a, data shows you can be healthy as, on a plant-based diet. Can be healthy on a plant -based yeah, diet. and you can supplement B12. Yeah, we supplement. We're supplementing. Why would you need supplement? We can eat. I don't get from what animals do you? Eat? I want to see if you have supplements through the animals. What animals do you eat? So you, you eat fish, cows. Yeah. Cows, chicken, chickens, fish, so I mean, fishes. Okay, so I the, get most of my nutrients from the food I eat. So the chickens, where do they get the B12? They get B12 from the food they eat, don't they? Supplements. Supplements, yeah. But I don't, I don't eat. So you eat supplements too, bro. I don't eat grain. They give so every most of my meat I get is grass fed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even the grass fed beef, you know, they supplement them because there's Colbert deficiency in the soil. You would have seen on Joe Rogan's. Uh, okay, so yeah, but, yeah, but then Joe Rogan, but Joe Rogan's probably healthier than like ninety percent of the people who actually. Yeah, but he's generally look. I mean, you wear a pool. You wear a pool saladino, right? The, the all fire. He's a quack. <laughs> I knew I was going to say that. A quack. But he's actually healthier now when he's on a, on a, on a carnival. I'm not, I don't believe in carnival diet, I don't. I do believe in having... Yeah, a lot of these carnival people say the same stuff <laughs> you're saying, bro. But I'm not a carnival person. Like, I, you I, eat plants, I, and that's, plants you're and healthy because you eat plants. If you didn't, you'd be unhealthy. Yeah, but you're saying without meat, you're not going to be healthy, but you haven't provided... Yeah, like, the you said my mate, like here, yeah, and, and believe, you've believe. given anecdotes. I've been a vegan, believe it or not. And I had uh, dry skin, I had the B12 deficiency. I actually was on... I was in the hospital for about three months because I was nice because my body had just literally shut down. I've been eating everything vegan pretty much. What did you do? What did you do? I've literally been eating plant based protein powders, tofu, sayatan. I was eating. What's the matter with the tofu? Literally, my body was just rejecting it because it wasn't. It's not compatible. Do you think the cancer ward, heart disease ward are filled with vegans? What? You're the, saying, the heart you're disease ward. You're saying meat cause uh, <laughs> such a fact. I'm just asking you who's filling up the hospitals? Yeah, but that's. You're, you're thinking about. People that are Do you think meat? You think meat's like this health? No, no, it's processed food. Okay. That's what you're eating. People, you're, you're talking about people that are in hospital. They're eating processed stuff. Processed stuff made in the factory. Cutting out McDonald's fast. Yes, it is. But cutting out steak, lean meat stuff because it's. Do you think steak is healthy? I think. Steak Do you think bacon is healthy? Yes, I think steak is healthy. Okay. You know the World Health yeah, Organization yeah, class. Acid is one of the healthiest fats you can buy, and it also burns fat as well. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Do you know the uh, World Health Organization class? They also say saturated fat is bad for you. That's been the box since the seventies. You guys were eating uh, red meat in the 70s. So right? saturated fat is good for you? Of course it is. Fat from processed food is bad for you, like hot dogs and... Um, Sa saturated fat from coconuts is even bad for you. Yeah. You. Raise your cholesterol. <laughs> does. A lot of things raise your cholesterol. You can get... Okay. You can get for anything. But, well, you're, but you're, ethically, you're, you agree with me, right? Because we're, we're getting steering off into this health debate. I, I, I ethnically agree. E ethically, you agree with yeah, me. Yeah, I agree with you. Well, let me just ask you this hypothetical question, because we're not going to agree on health. Yeah. No, that's, that's clear right now. Yeah. If you found out you could be healthy, you could get your B12, you would think this is not justified then, hey? Because you're saying would, you're doing it to survive kind of thing for killing, health. I'll be killing my, my, my inheritance. Our, our, our DNA, our ancestors would have hunted and it would have done agriculture as well. To, to stop why do we care? would be to, to kill off what we are. We but humans, why do we care? We're homo sapiens. We've been hunting since the dawn of time. Yeah, but we've always killed each other too, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. Human beings. Should we keep doing that? So that, there you go, you're inconsistent there. So it's not what we've always done that matters, is it? Because well, when it comes to humans, we should all right, stop so, all the immoral so, stuff. So, so what, what, what would you eat exactly on, on, on your diet? Let me, let me say this, would you eat a dog for B12? Would you eat a dog to stay healthy? Animals we're breeding, cows, sheep, 
and uh, uh, obviously lamb and deer and stuff. Ch and chickens. Stuff. Chickens. Do you eat chickens? I hate chickens. Yeah, yeah, they are selectively bred freak shows. What they've done to them. I know that's these what little, I'm little that. they're I'm six weeks that. old. They're little babies. But that's to do with that's probation. That's nothing that I can do. Right? I mean, you but, tell people just don't have baby kids. They don't. They want to have this. Is going to carry not, on. But you participate in something that you're morally against. In what in what other context do you do that? But then if I'm quitting to a vegan diet, I'm, I'm putting my health at risk. You want to keep pumping me for the drugs and stuff to keep yeah, me. But, but, uh, do, I look, do I look like yeah, I'm dying? You, yeah, but you, how long have I been vegan? Tell me. How long have you been? How long have you been vegan? How long have you been vegan? How long? Tell me. Okay. Guess. Ten years? Nearly. Like? <laughs> yeah, nearly nine years. Nearly nine years. Since 2013. Have you had any health problems since 2013? No. I mean, I get unhealthy when I eat processed vegan s***. But, yeah. when I, but then I eat uh, whole foods plant-based and I can get in shape and I can get 140 grams of protein, no worries. I look at chronometer, I get everything I need because they actually supplement um, B12 into the plant milks anyway. You know, and I, I, I take a, a multivitamin to be safe if there's no, if it's, because yeah. it's England, you know, you need vitamin D. When I switched from plant based to actually meat based diet, when I was bowl lifting, I actually recovered faster. My, I was just aching all over. Do you have the same amount of calories? Yes. Did you try increasing your calories? Because yeah, exactly. there's a, when you're eating lots yeah, of plants, yeah, yeah. there's a calorie thing. I've got Crohn's disease as well. You've got Crohn's? I can't, I can't go vegan, full vegan. You can't have no. too much fiber? No. You can design diets that are lower yeah, in fiber. Yeah, I know, fiber. that's what I'm saying. The doctor said to me, if you go vegan, you're going to kill you. And this is why I got to. So the doctor said that? Yeah. You know that's an appeal to authority? Do you know what I that is? Appeal to authority, yes. There's doctors used to recommend smoking. Would you believe those doctors? No, no, no. But, so you can't but, just say my doctor said. But then that's the thing though. Right, five hours eating a day basis. I was eating 800 grams of carbs a day. How many? 800 grams. Just to function. I probably eat half of it now. And I'm also getting fat and protein. I'm so functional. I can't, I can't. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a nutritionist or a doctor. I can't tell you why you felt like Cause that's, that hasn't been the case for me. 30% of my diet, believe it or not, is meat. The rest of it is actually fine. But I still have to include meat because I still function a bit with meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not really but, but if you that. found out that you didn't need to, cause it seems like you believe you need to, so. Uh, if I don't, if I find out that that's the only way, then yeah, I would, but at the moment, I'm not gonna cut someone because- You're worried, you're concerned about your health. Yeah. Even though you believe this is wrong. Someone, cause if I'm cutting something out, it's not beneficial at all, technically. Yeah. Cutting anything out is not beneficial. Cutting out poster stuff has been cutting yes. anything out. Yeah, no. so you know you, when you make claims, you have to back it up with science. Otherwise, it's just you making a claim, and we have to believe everyone's claims. Other than I mean, you know, I, to be honest, and you, you're saying like you, your personal I don't experience. Don't believe, I don't believe in cutting. I don't believe in cutting anything out of your diet because it's bad for you. Because people don't cut this out, cut that out. I still eat plant-based milk. I still do normal milk. Leave Did you cut cruelty out of your diet? <laughs> if there was a cow here, right? <laughs> and now let's just say this cow was coming yeah. up to you like, "What's up? Like, don't kill me in that. <laughs> I'm your friend. Would you shoot him in the head and cut their head off?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not saying you have to. No, but if, I, if, if I you had to kill me, you would do it, wouldn't you? Sure, well, if you had to, like, so about, say I'm trying to attack yeah. you and your family. If I have to, if I defend myself, yeah. Well, okay. No and the cow? Why do you have to kill the cow? You're gonna eat your food. Wait, wait, would you kill me to eat food? No. I wouldn't. You're why, going, why, you're why, 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 why? You're bringing about in terms of animal cruelty to human cruelty. There's two different things. Why are they two different things? Two different things. Because oh, animals kill animals in the animal kingdom, believe it or not. They also kill each other. Yeah, also kill each other. So should we kill each other? Yeah, we all even should, each other. Should me and you kill each other? No, we should Exactly. We're more we, we act simple, exactly, we're having a conversation. Yeah. And uh, you can't expect a lion to act in a moral way. But you're pointing to nature and you're going, they do yeah. they do this, so we should do this. You can't tell an animal don't kill this because you eat it. Because that'd be wrong, you're saying that. They have to eat to survive. Same as we have to eat. So we're still Yeah, on. I'm surviving, brother. So would you tell would you tell a chimpanzee don't kill an don't, 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 uh, 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 animal over there? Because if a chimp, okay, let me, let me say this. If a lion was about to attack, I don't know if you've got kids, yeah. someone's kid, yeah. would you say, well, this nature, we're just let him attack the kid? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I would let them do, would you tell the lion not to attack the kid? No, it's just a Exactly, so I should eat kids then, eh? Because you can't, you wouldn't tell a lion not to eat a kid. But then compare us to lions. Do, do, like, we're, we're smarter than the lions. Exactly. We have the so, ability to talk. You're right. This is what I'm saying. We're smarter than lions. We've got ethics and morals. But then would you rather, you, so you're telling me, you have a grow something in a lab to feed human beings because it's the right thing to do. To take cut off all our genetic provision to our ancestors just because it's morally and ethically wrong. When I guarantee you're cutting people, everything off from our ancestors. I guarantee three and four, five hundred like, years ago, they were doing the same thing we were doing right now. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, yeah, we yeah. were we were doing the same yeah, thing yeah. to animals, beating them. Yeah, we're in, a, in, in survival situation, things are different, right? But we've got plant agriculture now, right? And um, not sustainable, believe it or not. It's not sustainable because we're feeding the plants to animals. No, that's why it's not sustainable, sustainable because some parts of you cannot grow. You can't go uh, plant in Antarctica and the uh, Sahara. You can do that. You go, we're growing enough. Well, we're somehow we're growing enough plants to feed 80 billion animals we slaughter every year. Yeah, 
And you don't need to slaughter. Somehow we're doing that. Yeah, but somehow we've got a nine billion people on planet Earth. We didn't have, need to have nine billion people. Ten times more animals we're feeding somehow. <laughs> They're fed soy and grain and all that. Somehow we've got enough food to feed them. So you're saying, so you're saying cut all the animals. So what's going to happen to all these animals that you guys are going to save? Because eventually they will die out eventually. Because they're not yeah, they're yeah. built for. Agriculture. I'd rather they didn't exist like this. So you'd rather them let them die out like this and then we. I'd rather them phase out this. In, this is this is horrible what we're doing to them. Yeah, it's horrible what we do to them. Imagine but if we're doing this to people or dogs. Well, what, what we're doing to the environment to grow stuff in the first place. We're cutting down trees regardless. You, you missed my point. Trees. You missed my point. We're feeding enough. We're growing enough to feed all these animals. If we stop growing all these animals, we would stop. Plant agriculture right, would so greatly reduce. So we, let, we me, let me give you some data. Yeah. This study out of Oxford, and they said that uh, if we all adopted a plant based diet, you could reduce the Earth's farmland by 75%. So, 83% of the world's farmland is used for animal agriculture alone. 83%. That's the vast majority. And if we all ate plants, we could reduce it. Yeah, but we need less we, plants. Are we, yeah, but are we, are we genetic gifted to eat blood, all of us? You've got to think about every human being because everyone's genetics is different. My genetics is different from yours, and so and so and so forth. I might, I didn't react well to you, I believe, right now. You might react well, but I, I might can't not say react. what you did. I don't know, and I'm I saying, can't so analyze you, what you did. That's what I'm saying. So you got a how long were you vegan for? Four years. Four and years. you weren't actually vegan because you didn't do it for ethics. You did it for what did you do it for? I health? Wanted see, I wanted to see what, what it was like to be on a vegan. And how long? For, Three or four years. Four you, years. You were you were plant based for four years. Believe it, four years. From 2010 to 2014, I was plant based. 2000 to 2004. 2010 to 2014. Four years. I was. I was 2010 to 2014. 2000 carries day. 6,000. 6,000. Believe it or not. And you were still the same weight. No, I was heavier now. But yeah. I, I still struggle. I still struggle a lot to get carried in this part, right? 6,000. 6,000 a day. But even I think it's 6,000 a day now. I still don't eat that. And much. you had Crohn's disease back then. I didn't know about it. And then when I when I started having bowel problems, bowel movement problems, I went to doctors that have got Crohn's disease. Must have got Crohn's disease, believe it or not. So it might be something to do with your digestion, you weren't absorbing something. That sounds bizarre. 6,000 is way too much. It is too much. But believe it or not, when you're on a vegan day, you have to eat more anyway. When you're working there, you eat more. You're not eating that much, bro. Like, are you talking to someone who's been vegan nearly a decade, bro? I talk to meat eaters every single day. I'm, I'm around the whole entire plant based so you, vegan you, movement. Would you go on Joe Rogan's you, show and go. You're, you're, talking to someone who, you're talking to someone who's like you, so engaged with this stuff. Would you go on Joe Rogan and debate with, debate with Joe Rogan about whether that'd be plant oh, I would love to. I'd love to have a conversation with him. Would, He'll would, just go, oh, animals dying, crop deaths. <laughs> uh, you can't be healthy as a vegan, even though I had. Um, you can't be healthy Even though I had a game changers go on here, wreck the hell out of them. I know all of your critiques, because I've noticed them and I've got a point for each one. But since you brought up cattle, you said that cattle, uh, there's no evidence of cattle being fed B12. So if you bring up flight 46. Vitamin B12 for sheep and cattle, that's what it says. Yeah, yeah but the, the, let the me give you something. There, there was a guy... Um, there he was had a, amnesia about that debate. There was a, there was a vegan strongman, believe it or not. Who, and Patrick Pavomian. Yeah, he, he, and he was not in some of lifts. Any, any strongman, any amateur could beat his lifts. And they were all meat based. I don't know about that. He has, saying, he has a world record holder. That got debunked as well. Yeah, they got debunked as well. But he also... But he, he was like, a world record holder. Yeah. Yeah, so it, Joe it, Rogan got that wrong. And yeah, anyway, never it, them what you're doing is you're saying, statistically, there's more meat eaters. So statistically, there's going to be... Uh, more well, science eating meat, that's pretty much what we are. Science eating meat and plants, so we're going to have a that's what the herb omnivore. You're designed to, right? yeah. That's what omnivore You're designed, designed to. Who designed yeah. it? God, no. do you believe in God? <laughs> no, I don't. So, who designed it? But believe it or not, right? So, so you're saying that we're so the same as is it okay people. for me to eat dogs if we're designed to eat meat? We are designed to eat meat. It's okay, is it okay? We are designed. Can we I do this to dogs? Is it okay? Because I need to. I'm you're designed to eat. About animal cruelty. Are we going to pick and choose which? You're trying to get by my conscience, but I have no conscience. That's not. That's you not do. to do with me. That's you do. Conscience. You looked at it. You said it's wrong. You already said <laughs> it. It may be wrong. Yes. You can't take it back now. It may be wrong. Yes. What we're it. doing. You said it's but against wrong, your morals. Eating yeah, yeah, meat's not against my morals. Believe it or not. You can't have meat and this not happen, and animals be slaughtered. You can't not. You can't have one or the other unless you get lab-grown meat or plant-based meat. Yeah, lab-grown meat is going to be. It's probably worse than actually meat probably going on this. Well, it's cleaner. It's <laughs> not yeah, well, they're sanitized in a lab, so they're growing you're, cells. You're worried, you're worried about that. Wait, wait a second. They, so a sentient being grows meat off of their body, right, yeah. in yeah. factories, mm -hmm. and you think that's worse than growing cells in a petri dish in a yes. sanitized lab? Yeah. That, that's it's better to eat meat off of an animal in a factory. Yes. Okay. Because remember that petri dish, you could you could you could put anything in it. I could contaminate with any sort of bacteria growing lab. You could anything. Look what happened. COVID leaked from a lab. Believe it or not. Do you don't think they're full of? Do you know? Have you ever been in? A, you haven't been in a factory farm. They're full of. Yeah, shit. They they feed I'm the animals antibiotics. I'm much more afraid. That's why they're I'm dying against, on the floor. That's why I'm into grass-fed stuff. But I think it's better. But you don't eat grass-fed chickens, bro. I eat grass-fed chickens. Expensive, but I eat it. Where where? Yeah, from Tesco, grass-fed stuff. It's like twenty pound for a chicken. Free-range meat chickens. Oh, grass-fed. Grass-fed chickens. Yeah, I've seen, chickens don't eat grass. Yeah, they don't eat grass, but they eat. I've never. I've been in free-range egg farms, bro. I'm an investigator as well. I've never seen them. 
grazing and eating grass as their primary food source. So you're saying They're eating eggs grains. Eggs one of the most healthiest things on planet Earth. And it's superfood. You don't need eggs to be healthy, bro. I want to see more people claim to be vegan. And I want to see after How many more you need? Years, how many more how you many, need? A couple of years they'll say, oh, I'm deficient in this, I'm deficient in that. And they'll be saying, oh, that's cruel to animals. The last 50 years, believe it or not, since uh, yeah. you, us humans have expanded on planet Earth. Oh, yeah, we've we really evolved, aren't we? Yeah, we evolved. We murder each other. <laughs> exactly. We bomb right. each other. We both kill have, children. We we're a yeah. vicious, brutal species. <laughs> yeah, we are vicious, brutal species. We are so. very vicious. But I'm you, asking, want to, you want to cut that out. I'm asking cut. for compassion, which you have, <laughs> which I know you have, because at the start, I'm going to carry eat my meat. You, you want to justify eating meat. And I know you don't want to give it up. That's why. It's health reason. I'm not going to give up meat. It's like something else goes, that's bad for you. That's like me going, oh, I'm not going to go to this country. It's but, a bad country. But before, you said that if you found out it was healthy, you could be healthy on plants. This would be wrong. You could be healthy on plants. You could be healthy on meat. You could be healthy on both. So then what's... <laughs> okay, you just like, told me you yeah, couldn't for like, like 30 yeah, minutes. Like to rip everyone apart. You're, you're doing this animal cruelty. I don't go to you, oh, you're eating meat. Or you're eating plants. You're a bad person. I haven't gone to you. Believe me, a lot of people... What's wrong with eating plants? You're murdering everyone else. I don't do that. You even think animal cruelty is wrong. That thing's so, wrong. So, doesn't, so, mean, so, doesn't mean I'm not going to stop eating... Uh, that's not the way forward. It is not. What is the way forward in your opinion? We need to, we need to adversely stop overpopulation. That is the one thing we need to bless. That so you think keep the population as it is and keep these factory farms and that going no, like they are to supply it? No, How are you going to supply people no, with not, meat? We used to. How are you, you going to supply 60 billion chickens to this population as it is? Keep keep 60 growing. Billion. 60 what, billion to, chickens a year. To what? To Britain or the whole world? So right now, the worldwide numbers is about 60 billion chickens slaughtered every year. Uh, so, so you, you so think so overpopulation is a problem? Yeah. So keep the population like this and keep this like this? No. If we limit the population, we'd actually stop doing it. So you this. think cull the pop human population? Cull them off? Or, or stop us from breeding. Stop us from breeding, yeah. And not stop eating animals and just eat plants. If we stop breeding, guaranteeing the year, if we stop breeding, we will... What's, more, what's more extreme? What's more extreme? Stop the population from breeding or stop you, you, murdering you, animals yeah, by the think, billion? So you're thinking about 100 years' time, because we're running out of fossil fuels, believe it or not, running out of everything. So you're saying that... We should evolve past fossil fuels as well. Yeah, yeah we should. That's not the same we can't Yeah, do. we should evolve past mass murdering innocent beings as well. <laughs> I love how you vegans like to debate about how it's... It's mass wrong. murder. It's not mass murder, mate. If, if there's no population, that won't happen. It's mass murder. Remember, if the population was under control right now, would you exist? Would you be in You just lumped me in with all other vegans. I bet you've never had a discussion I quite like this. Vegan. Yeah, I think not have a, a vegan's got. Do you, you think we're all the same? Do you think we're all the same? No. Not everyone's the same. Some people are doing it because they like to have change. Maybe they're doing it because they like to prove that they're right. Do you think that's the motivation for most vegans? They want to prove they're right? That's the, that's the underlying agenda of vegans. Prove they're right. They don't care about this. Hey, maybe you care right. about this. So you think vegans don't care about this, but you do, and we we've got some other agenda. You go into the middle of a, a, a white and meals, see it's African safari and go, okay. and then see what happens. Because believe it or not, you go into Africa Africa tribe. They drink, uh, eat, uh, eat blood, drink blood. I don't care what tribes do, bro. But that's what I'm saying. That's it's, them. I don't care what they that's do. Them. They're hunter gatherers. Why, why should I? Why should I? Why should I act the way tribes? Do you want me to go back? Do you want me to go back? Or should we stay in history, in, in civilized Favorite society? The people that actually hunt and gather are actually healthier than people like us. They're probably in a they're in a survival situation. Yeah, no, you're not. We're not. I'm not. So why do? How do we justify it? We don't need to. But they probably. We don't need to. If we're doing something saying, well, that's cruel like that, we should be out, have to justify it. So you're saying grab lab, uh, lab grown meat, eating plants is plants. sustainable. What if you got a family? Eating plants is much more sustainable than eating I guarantee animals. one day when there's a, fa there's a family, there's no nothing growing, you're going to be telling me I'm going to be eating meat. We wouldn't be having a civilized discussion because we'd be caring about protecting ourselves, surviving. In survival situations, morality we don't consider. But because we're in civilization, we can consider morality. I that meat is not the answer. Or not. It is for the animals. I'm sure the animals would beg to differ with you. All right, let me ask you. You're from Australia, right? You're yeah. Aussie, right? Yeah. Back home, don't they eat? What kind of meat do you guys eat back home? Same shit, eh? Same, I'm same not, animals. I'm a wild game. Just, like, they eat kangaroos. They, eat, but, but it's, it's chickens, pigs, the lambs, and the, the culturally conditioned ones that people are taught to eat. You know, the ones that they've programmed us to eat. You, would, you, would you still eat a kangaroo? Though? Would I? Yeah. No way, I'd eat a kangaroo, bro. <laughs> A life of this situation would be a kangaroo. If you know what? A life of this situation. You a life or life. death situation. Yeah, situation. yeah well, I'm not going to commit suicide to save a kangaroo. <laughs> but to be honest, if it's me and you, I'm going to have the same answer, bro. And if it's you and me, what are you going to do? Commit suicide to save me? Oh, yeah. If I, if I had to eat a human being to survive, I would. That's how you got to do something. Yeah, I've seen movies like that too. Oh, yeah. I like hey, you're, not, you're not in that situation, bro. I don't need to be. Yeah. Well, it doesn't mean I'm going to cut something out to, to, to look at it ethically wrong, because that'd be wrong with doing that. It's wrong to cut something Just out that's ethically wrong. Sorry, bro. I want to and, uh, and not drink milk. We've been drinking milk for hundreds of thousands of years. No, we haven't. We've been 10,000 years. 10,000 years. 10,000 years dairy. 
there it's, is it's what? relatively new and most of the population is actually so uh, lactose like baby, intolerant yeah, yeah that's, most that's, of, that's, genetic, that's genetics that happens yeah, most of the population is lactose they intolerant because yeah, we're, we're not baby cows but uh, isn't it not true that we're smart if you care about nature why do you want to drink from cows I think drinking milk is a boy. I think drinking milk is a... Uh, yeah, from baby. A from your mama as a baby. Doesn't, doesn't milk make you grow, though? It makes a baby calf grow into a full-grown cow. It's specific it's for them. milk contains photoestrogen. Cow's milk contains actual estrogen. You should be more scared of ma mammals' estrogen than plant phytoestrogens, which aren't real estrogens. No, they're, not real estrogens. they're not real estrogens, phytoestrogens. So you tell me you'd rather drink a litre of uh, almond milk. There's nothing in it. No, no I don't even drink milk. almond milk. I drink soya or oat milk. <laughs> Milk's even worse. It's just oats and water. I don't care. I just have it because uh, it's conditioned in me to have this milky shit on top of my cereal or in my coffee. Really, I do it for a flavor. I don't do it for health. When it, for my health, I have vegetables and fruits and whole grains. That's what I do for health. I don't drink milk for health. If I was to uh, bear my health to yours, I'd probably be healthier than you. I get sick. I'm really good enough. But I still eat meat though. You can't do that without blood <laughs> tests. You can't do that, you know? You, you know, I don't know. We, you can't look at someone's shape. You're in better shape than me at the moment, for sure. I've been, I've been in better shape than I am now. Agree. That doesn't mean you're healthy. No, mean bodybuilders you're die at 40. Yeah, but bodybuilders will say, oh shit, I've got to be smart. No, 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 they, they, they can look, you can look at a, some bodybuilder and go, and he looks good, you know? And he'll die. His arteries are clogged. Athletes die of heart attacks. Arteries are clogged. So you can't look at someone and say they're healthy. You can't look at me and, and yeah. But, like I said, I eat the same food you eat. I just eat on top of that world. So I eat steak, I eat eggs, I drink milk sometimes, you know. Yeah. You eat chopped up body parts of animals. <laughs> you eat hen's ovulations. I eat liver as well. You eat superfood. organs cut out of a sentient being. All organs, like, organ meat is good for you. It's one of the most healthiest foods you can get. It's been scientifically proven. Would I'm you eat my liver? <laughs> liver is good for you. It wouldn't matter if it was. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't need organ meats to be healthy. <laughs> Yeah, it wouldn't matter that. to me. It's unethical to cut an organ out. We already went through that. It doesn't matter if it's healthy. What matters is, is it ethical for me to cut your head off and eat your liver? I believe or not, I believe in having everything. I cut things down because I like to get... You don't believe in having everything, bro. You wouldn't eat a, uh, a dog or a cat or a human child, <laughs> would you? You wouldn't do it. <laughs> well, yeah, my protein takes... So it's only specific animals. animals that you've been programmed to eat. Cows, lambs, you told me. It's the ones that everyone tells you to eat. <laughs> We can save animals, but what we're gonna do is 60 billion chickens. You know, what are you gonna do with them? I just don't want to mass breed them. They're breeding them into existence. They don't yeah, exist. It's, it's, it's horrible seeing that. But that's, if that's, we stop demanding it, they stop breeding them and supplying it. That's how we do it. But then, olden are sick, so you're gonna give people plant-based food. What if you have there's an outbreak, for example, and there's you know oh, well, what, from a factory die, farm no, pandemic crops, from a factory farm crops die off, believe it or not. What are you gonna feed the humans then? It's a different situation, brother. So you, you, we already talked about survival. Ooh, we wouldn't be having a civilized discussion about morality. How many people have you have you have you have you converted today? To today, like every plant based diet. How many people have you converted? Um, I can't calculate it because I've got <laughs> two hundred million views on our social media. Wow, two hundred million. It's a decent amount. And, and not everyone that. believes. Not everyone is me. You 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 consume different media to me. You listen to Joe Rogan, Paul Saladino, um, Liver King, and this and that, which I get. <laughs> Liver King's a bit wacko, I've got to admit, but no, he's, right. he's healthy to move. We're just living people. different lives. You you consume different content to me, right? But I'm asking you just to choose, like think think with your heart instead of what you've been programmed. That's all I'm asking you to do. <laughs> well, look at these. Look at this. This is a gas chamber, bro. Yeah, but I'm saying most pigs here are killed in gas chambers. Do you think that's bad? Animals, animals. We, we bred them for reasons. That's, that's is it okay that they suffer in gas chambers? It's going to happen anyway. No, but is it okay that they suffer in gas chambers? We've been killing animals for the last f a couple of thousand we've years. We've been killing each other for that long. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what we've always done. I'm just asking you if that's okay. Look at them. Let's see a world where Look at that. go back to their old hunter-gatherer situation. Is that, what does that feel to you? Like watching them suffer in that chamber? You just try to, we try to, you kind of got to attach them emotionally, just don't have so no you're trying to hide from that but that is the reality that's 85 percent of pigs in in the uk have been killed like this i'm very much aware of what pigs do to the pigs so when stop, you stop stopping you knowing for me and me is it i'm still gonna eat me i'm not i want not buying into that stuff i just like eating meat because it's good for you but but it, it it's, not, it's bad it's not good to cut things out because someone says it's bad for you no i'm that's just saying bad. it's bad for the animals that's what i'm saying right now it's bad for animals. it's bad for the pigs look at them trying to struggle to get out of that chamber yeah but then it's bad for us humans to overpopulate the planet earth Build, buildings everywhere uh, I'm not talking about that right now. I'm just talking about you when you buy bacon. This is what happens to pigs. I like, I'll continue to eat my bacon. I love yeah. bacon. Yeah. But you'll continue to eat out of gas chambers, suffering animals. I would love to continue to eat bacon because I'm, I'm, believe it or not, I'm a healthy man. So, Bacon is healthy. Oh, it's good for you. Linear, linear acid. Oh, linear acid, sorry. 
which is good for you. So, so you can't live without bacon if you you think that gas chambers are justified because of the health benefits you get from it, yeah? It's good for you. It is good for you. So yeah. for, because of the health benefits, this is justified. Is that? I'm just trying to get it straight. Yeah, yeah, I want to know your good argument good. properly, get it through my head. That's okay. Well, we're designed to eat 100% plant based way. The fact that you guys are going on TV just to prove a point is more funnier than me telling you, uh, giving you wacko ideas. Because you're trying to appeal to the masses about having suddenly we need to do for other animals. But we've been raising animals for 100 years. We've been doing the same thing. If you asked somebody 500 years ago, would you not kill animals? No, they would. 500 would. years ago, we were in, literally enslaving other people. Yeah, but we were saving other people. So we still eat meat, though. Why the hell would I care what we did back then, bro? We eat meat, though. So yeah, we, we do a lot of horrible well. things. We do believe a lot of we had a, we had a, believe on, we had an eight percent plant based diet back then, and we still eat meat. But people don't talk about that because they're going, "Oh, it's, it's bad now." But what you sleep that? I still eat eight percent plant based. Am I bad? No, I'm not. I still eat meat. I'm not cutting that stuff out. Just someone said to me, "Oh, that's unethical." What's there's no ethics don't come into it. Ethics don't, don't come into it. No, don't, ethics don't come into it. Well, at the start of the conversation, you said this is wrong. So it's wrong. Okay. Not that you got to put so it on TV why was it wrong? If ethics you're going to put it in Common Garden for everyone to see, we don't need to see that. It's, I'm just. This is just footage of what you pay for. That's all it is. It's just okay. people have left cameras. What they hide from the public, and they. I want to see what happens on vegan uh, when you when you go seeing well, on vegan farm. Because I tell you what, a vegan farm. Because remember, them Sterling farms and in uh, in China when they raise stuff, they they got all kind of chemicals in for you. Don't you don't show that? They kill animals in crops. You mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, most of the crops are being fed to animals, so to reduce those the, that harm, I eat know, the crops directly. You know, if, you, if you cut all this out, you're, gonna, you're, you're killing the farming industry because people, uh, farmers rely on this stuff. I don't care. But, but you're, you're saying the kids... People the, relied on human <laughs> slavery back so you're then. Saying, you're people, saying no, kill no, someone's no, business but, but because you care. find it I, I honestly don't care. They ended human slavery in America, which was a, the moral thing to do, and it hurt the industry. Yeah, because we chose like morals, or we, were we chose those cotton, people. Uh, which we didn't need to grow. It, wasn't it hurt the industry because they had the to pay people then, yes. didn't they? Yeah. And that was the right thing to do. It's wrong to do this to animals, and I don't care how many people lose their jobs over it. They can find other jobs. This is way worse than them losing no, a job. Not. It is because would you rather be in a slaughterhouse or have your have lost your job? You prefer to be in there? You're, we live in a site where you can't, you can't afford to lose a job nowadays. You're telling people to lose your job, don't do so. Yeah, That's the most worst thing. I've changed about. jobs about six times in my life and nothing happened. Farmers are, uh, are business people. They're doing this because it's a business. Yeah. Are you saying, are you saying like, just because you lose your business, that's worse than getting slaughtered in a gas it's chamber? Like millions of people that rely on this around the world. Most of the people that are wrong. I don't care how many people rely on murdering and torturing and killing. I, I care not, if it's wrong or right. Not, the Hindus don't even kill cows, but they still milk them. Is that wrong? The dairy industry. I don't they worship cows. They put cows to their god. But is yeah. that wrong? The this? dairy industry is no is actually probably worse welfare wise in India than it is in the UK. Yeah, but they, understand. they kill all those cows, by the way. <laughs> they, they send them. The, the, yeah, India is yeah. one of the biggest exporters of beef and leather. Yeah. But is that is that is, is that, that wrong? wrong? Yeah, it's wrong. Are they? So you're saying to a villager who survives on that kind of milk to grow and survive to cut like that just because you guys because the Western person. You're, we're from the Western world, believe it or not. It's the Westerners that believe in this stuff, not the, the people at home. Maybe it's right because they're doing it to survive. We go, oh, it's fucking wrong. We're the one that's doing it in the first place. Well, I've spoken to a lot of tourists here. World. A lot of people that travel here, they look at this and think it's wrong too. It may be wrong, but stuff you can do about it. Free. We can oh, do well, I do, I'm doing something. You can killing do something. Industry. Killing industry. And then what? And then and cause unemployment for, and then cause another pandemic because okay. uh, vegans ask, suddenly go, that's the wrong thing. Should we end the Yulin Dog Eating Festival? What's that? Do you know the Yulin Dog Eating Festival? So what they do is they get a bunch of dogs, they cage them, they torture them and kill them. To eat them. That's, that's not right. What did you say? That's, that's not right. But that's not right. That's not, no. <laughs> you want to you want to kill an industry? But it, the cows. What should designed, we do about them? Cows were designed to be eaten and bread and milk. That's there, what there's dog for. farms in different countries too. Yeah, I know, I'm well aware. And of is that. it okay to farm You're dogs? You're telling me a whole a whole country to no. stop doing their ethics because no, you just, find I'm it wrong. I'm just asking you if they were dogs like yeah. they are in Newland, right? Yeah. You just said that's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. So, so why is it wrong? The dogs are domesticated. So what should we do about it? Should we end that? When you were saying, but then people around the world rely on meat to, Cows to eat. Cows are and also domesticated. I'm just asking you, what is the difference between Yulin Dog Eating Festival? Uh, and no, no, no. We have to stay here because you're going to try to avoid it. What is the difference between Yulin and this? No difference. So why is one wrong and one not? Because the, the pigs are, and, 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 and cows are designed to be the, uh, agriculture animals. There are dog farms. For that. In, no, in uh, South Korea, there are dog farms yeah, where South they Korea, breed well, them I'm, to eat them. We're not, we're not South Korea. No, no, I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm trying to show how you're contradicting yourself and, and you're trying to avoid it a little bit with the health thing which is okay just i could i could i can eat i can eat being a diet and and and, and like i said find your fig but then i'm being brainwashed by you guys to do something you've already been brainwashed, I ain't been brainwashed you think one animal is wrong to kill and another animal who's 
nearly exactly the same except for the way they look. It's fine to kill. It's not, it's not about ethics. It's healthy for you. Eating meat is good for you. Processed meat, like hot dogs. I don't care if it's healthy. Stuff, it's I already talked about health. It wouldn't matter if you were healthy to eat. I wouldn't do it because you're a sentient being. I don't want to kill you. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't matter if you're healthy -er than animals. It wouldn't matter if you were healthier than kale. I wouldn't think it's moral to kill you, to eat you. I still eat plant-based food, believe it, and I'm still healthy. I know. It doesn't mean I, I'm going to sit there cut meat up because suddenly okay. some of them is unethical. You know, you know, okay, we're going in circles. So I think right now we should just agree to disagree because we're going back to the same. It's like we're circling back. So we're not progressing. So I think that's that's where we go. We're, we're going to- I'll let your audience know. I'll let your audience okay, know. you your final thoughts. Veganism is moral and wrong. People telling you not to eat meat because it's unethical, it's the worst thing you do someone. I'm not going to tell someone not to eat meat. You choose what you choose. You choose to eat meat, you choose not to eat meat. I'm a guy that eats 70% plant-based, believe it or not, I eat 30% meat. Am I healthy? Yeah. Whole food should be the way forward. Not for, uh, eating one one side and one side because one certain says they're wrong. Carnivore, vegan, that's all wrong. You should be eating everything regardless of what it is. Because it's regardless good for you. It, yeah, regardless of what it is, it's good for you. Regardless, people, even even eating paleo is probably going to be good. For you. Even cutting grains out is even better for you, personally, if I'm really going to survive. But at the end of the day, sitting there telling people, don't eat meat because we're doing this. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing, doing this because of the population, because we've decided to, to multiply our extraordinary. We're like rabbits, we just multiply. If we cut that out and we say, look, we adopt so a we, few thousand people, we cut the population of the earth by half. And we, we won't we, do this anymore. We won't need to. We well, won't kill animals anymore. We don't need to. We won't need to kill half the animals so we, because we wouldn't need to do that. We would kill half of this, the amount of animals, but we'd still half, kill animals. We'd still kill animals, but it's still something, isn't it? I don't think it, yeah, I don't want that, mate. I don't want to kill, because we kill <laughs> half the animals now, it's like 1.5 trillion instead of three. <laughs> still quite a lot, bro. You're to disagree. Because at the yeah. end of the day, I eat, I eat what you eat. I so I add meat to my diet. And I'm still healthy. I don't care about health. Uh, we're not having that. a health discussion because you always want to bring it there. Yeah, because that's what it pretty much what most people are talking about ethics. We're, we're, if that's what veganism is. That is what, that's exactly what veganism oh, is. Okay. Veganism is an ethical... Uh, veganism derives right from the 1970s. What everyone is about... 1944. No, not 1944. No, there was no the, people the, eating the, vegan in 1944. Don't, there's, to no, there's, no, there's no studies from that. People were eating meat in the pit. Donald people Watson eat. founded veganism in 1944. <laughs> oh, in 19, for November 1944, British woodworker named Donald Watson announced, because, you're, you're telling a vegan when veganism yeah, was founded. Saying, this is this pretty cool. World War II when we didn't have meat. Meat was not available. It's like just that. after World War II when they were gas chambering human beings. Yeah, I very much weren't right? of course. Now, we're gas chambering uh, other and torturing and murdering way more animals than we ever have. Well, we that, learned that's nothing. The thing is, the thing is, we, we learned you, nothing from you, these atrocities. are sitting there going, everyone else is wrong, you're doing this. No, How we, many meters have you met? So oh, your, your thing's wrong, you're doing this. Humans have learned nothing from the atrocities of the past. We've learned nothing. We're hypocrites. <laughs> yeah, we, we are. We do things to animals we'd never want done to us. We're violent creatures and we need to learn and stop. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let me do my final thoughts. Yeah. doesn't matter if it's uh, you can be healthy eating meat. It's beside my point. We shouldn't be doing this to uh, billions of animals. And on industrial side, it's no. We do a better way, yes, we'll find a better way. I don't think there's a better way to there kill. There is a better way. There's not a better way to kill you if you want to live. There is a better way. No, not. If, you oh, just don't want to admit sorry. that there is a better there's way. There's not a humane way. There, there is, is a humane way. There's there not is, a humane way. You just don't want to admit if it. You are suffering, yes, to put you out of You just don't want to admit the fact that eating meat is right. Is there a humane and way to murder? Murder's got nothing to do with it. We've been eating meat for thousands of years, millions of years. Ask me, is there, is there, are you going to ask our ant ancestors, please don't eat meat because it's wrong? I'm Think just saying, it. this is the problem and this is how you solve it. You stop, you stop contributing to it in kill, your life. Kill off the areas, you kill off uh, someone's jobs and you're saying that's the right thing to do so you can... And what's up on you when the you... The amount of suffering these industries cause, so it's definitely that, the right thing to do. What's going to happen when you solve this world issue? What's going to happen then? I don't know, bro, I'm having you, a... I've just spent... Over an hour trying to convince you that convince stabbing me. animals to death is wrong. I'm not stabbing right? animals. I'm eating what uh, I'm no, supposed no, to I'm, be. I'm just saying I'm going to have a very hard time convincing every single person here. If this is the, the pushback I get whenever I say, "Hey, this is wrong. Stop I doing think it." Some of you vegans are a little bit crazy. I don't know what it is. Yeah. But your 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 world order is. What's you, crazy about my position? Just tell me. Because you're trying to appeal to my emotional side. But I'm using this. When I, we know about, I know. I'm so, very much. So you shouldn't have an emotional reaction. No, to I this. don't because I really know about this. I'm just trying to build you. I, I'm, mate, I'm, I know about this. Really. You I'm, knew about gas chambers. I'm very much aware of it, mate. So, so you happily pay for gas chambers then? Wait, so I've good. been. Human, we, we know about. Everyone knows about where animals come from. We're very much aware of this. You know what happens. Uh, most people don't, man. Hey, that walk past and I talk to. Because they're ignorant and they don't understand that. But I know it. I'm like, well, you're gonna appeal to my side and go, "What's well, wrong?" We've been slaughtering animals for hundreds of years. It makes no difference what we do because you guys are gonna go, "Oh, it's, it's everything is wrong." But you're gonna everything kill. is wrong. Yeah, because you're gonna destroy a field, grow something, like kill an animal in the process, and you're claiming you eat honey. I, I don't eat you honey. Eat honey. No, we don't. <laughs>
good superfood though, isn't it? Right, it's not vegan. Enough. It's not a superfood. Bullshit. It's, uh, it's bee vomit. <laughs> Provide some research bee, on it being a superfood. Bee pollen. I don't. Bee Liver pollen. King is not a good source. <laughs> Paul, <laughs> Paul Saladino is not a good source. Paul Saladino was is a is a former vegan. I don't care. And turned to carnivore. It's an appeal to authority. And he's healthier now, and he's also. I don't I, care. I, you know. I don't care. Day, you you guys are trying to convince. You been. Uh, fair enough. He lost to Joe Rogan. Believe me, right? that's one person. He got embarrassed yeah, he by the data. But Chris, first of all, you have admitted that you don't even know how to read the science. Is that fair? Do you no. honestly feel qualified to, to read even a single paper? Yes. But you don't know how to read a forest I've taken plot? Re research. Yeah, embarrassed by data. By the data, embarrassed him. Because he's a carnival. That's what he's going to be embarrassed by. He's not hey, eating drugs. Chris, Chris Cresser is not a carnival. He's over a carnival. No, he's not. He's, he's, a, he's the same as you. Whole foods, plants, and meat. Doesn't That's what he advocates. Food doesn't mean not healthy. Chris Cresser advocates whole foods omnivorous diet. Yeah. So is he not healthy though? I don't know. <laughs> I don't point. care. It's beside my point. <laughs> it's beside my point. I've just said this. The health <laughs> thing's beside the point. But anyways, we have to stop. It's too long. We've gone too long, brother. Thank you. Very I much. really appreciate your time, man. Yeah, man. I, I really enjoy those discussions, eh? Trying to convince everyone. Keep, keep going. It looks like you're uh, doing a good job. Yeah. Uh, not you're not, trying mean, to go too not much. everyone's as difficult as you, but that's why, that's why we have discussions. I'm gonna carry and eat meat because that's what I was saying. Do you really want to hold on to it? I know that. Oh, One yeah, day you'll let go. One day I'll never. Maybe let you go. need ayahuasca or something. Have a spiritual awakening or something. I'm gonna have a spiritual awakening. I believe eating meat is a great way. Okay. Eating whole foods, meat, and plants is the right way. Peace, brother. Thank you. Take care, my friend. There's two girls waiting here for hours to talk to you. Oh, uh, hello. Hi. How are you? So you helped me go vegan. Really? You're five years old. Five you're, years? Yeah. And three years. Three years to so 2017? Mm, I was vegetarian for nine years. Did you watch my videos in 2017? I don't. Uh, so you yeah. Wow. You were like one of the first actors. You and Earthling Ed. My, wow, yeah. amazing. That's good. Can we get a photo? Of course you can. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to get, take a photo? You can both have one. And it's one each? It's okay. I don't mind. Either or either. Whatever you want. Thank you. No worries. Good to meet you. Keep, keep, keep up the good work. Thanks for coming up and saying hello. Bye. Bye-bye.